What is up, guys? K Dog's Kennel. I really. Didn't want to do this part, but it's got to be done. And I thought, you know what? Screw it. What better time to do it than right now? I got to get rid of these. Uh, whatchamacallums? The waypoints or what are the. Uh... Okay, maybe that was it. All right. So the Lake of Rot. Uh, this place is absolutely deplorable. Um, as you can see, it is nothing but a... Nothing but rot. <laughs> Are you going to get any jelly co-op? Probably not. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this area. I absolutely hate this area. This area is not, oh my god, huge. But this area sucks. It really, really does. There's no easy way around it, per se. You just gotta slog through it. So. Um, you're gonna want uh, your... There's, like, things you can, like, raise up out of the ground to where you're not in the rot for very long, but... All right, let's do this. Don't wanna, but let's do it. All right. Like this, for example, these, this pressure plate right here, you step on it, it will make platforms rise out of the rot. Like so. Rot grease, obviously, that will coat your uh, your weapon in rot. Kind of self-explanatory. Oh, hi. No longer one-shotting enemies. We're actually back to back to uh, normal normalcy, if you will. Almost positive there is a boss out here. That's the uh, the Grand Cloister. Um, that's kind of our destination per se. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna get rot anyway. So you know what? Let's just go with it. Black key bolts. And your health will go down quickly. Uh, having rot. Um, just because Rot is one of the worst status effects in the entire game. Ah, crap, I didn't mean to, take, didn't mean to chug that twice, but that's alright. If I can at least get the platforms up, it may not be so bad. See, look how fast my health is going down from this thing. Rot is... is bad. Rot is really bad. I think there's another right up here. Uh, let's use the bolus. Step on this. Which is going to bring up some more... Yeah, right there in the middle, that's a, uh, uh, oh, boy. You know what? Screw it. Let's fight it. Let's fight it. Why not? Probably going to regret this. I don't know why I just did that. 
And I can't use my Mimic Tear, so you know what? I'm not too concerned about this. Oh. I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. I might with this guy chasing me. Damn it. Yep. Like if the if he won't get you the rot will, so Oh, I hate this place so bad. I really, 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 really do. The fact that I can't use my damn my uh mimic tier is kind of annoying, but Oh, this guy is out here. Actually, I forgot about this guy. Takes him down. He always drops uh, the... No torrent, but no, you cannot ride torrent in the rot. No. I know. Tell me about it. It sucks. Oh, now I can use my mimic tier. Okay, this may not be so bad now. Or, yes it is, because the rot killed me as I was, because I, yeah. Yeah. I actually forgot about that, because the, um, the Mimic tier uses HP, not FP, to summon. Oh. Well, this kind of works out, because it put me here. This is going to raise another... Oh, this actually is... This might be for the best, actually. Because now I have, like, ground to fight this thing on. That might have been the best thing that, that happened to me, honestly. So, yeah, we can fight this guy right here. Really? I mean, honestly, if my mimic here can just... Oh yeah, we got him. Takes him down. God, that was... I don't want to say that was easy, but that was easy. Ooh, we get a dragon scale blade. I don't think I've seen that. Dragon scale blade, there we go. So D strength eh. I mean it looks cool. Not again, something I'm not gonna use, but that actually worked out really well. I mean there's other stuff in here. I mean if you wanna freaking go, you know, take a look, be my, be my guest. I don't I really don't. I don't want to be in this freaking lake any more than what I really have to be. Because this place is just... It's its horrifying. I don't like it. There's an item up there. You know what? I don't care. I legit don't care. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go here. Back to the shore. 
and then what we're going to do is we're going to head straight to the Grand Cloister, because you know what? This place sucks. I don't like it. I don't want to be here. The main reason I'm doing this place is because uh, this will take us... Uh, this will give us access after we beat uh, Estelle, who is the, uh, the boss down here. Um... Like, I think you can go up there, and uh, you can find an Alabaster Lord and get a uh, somber smithing stone tier 9. This one. Again, bringing up more. Aha! I see what it's doing, yeah. Bringing up more of this crap. I hate rot, man. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Just a, such a number. I mean, look at my health bar. My health bar is just being eviscerated by this thing. Scarlet rot is equivalent to uh, toxic from Dark Souls. Like how fast it drains your hit points. Ah, step on this one. Yep, and now... Okay, so I can show this off. Ha ha ha. Let me come up here. This Alabaster Lord should be... Right over here. Yep, he's right there. How you doing, buddy? God, I love this fucking sword. Sit down. And he will drop the Alabaster Lord Sword. And more importantly, I come over here. And I lay claim to a Somber Smithing Stone Tier 9. So there we go. Alright, now I want down, because I want to go into this big, gigantic building right here. Nope, and I can't. Okay. You know what? It's probably going to be best... If I just go, because I swear if I, like, if I drop off there, it's likely to kill me. I don't know why. I just kind of feel that way. I'm really not even worried about my runes, because honestly, we're going to get a lot more runes here in a bit, so. Oh, God. I, God, that always makes me jump, and I don't know why. it again, which again, not a big deal. Like I said, we're just going to make a beeline straight for that building. I'm done playing in the rot. I don't want to. I'm almost positive there's a bonfire when we get into here, so that, and then there's no more, I mean, there's rot, but not like this. This is a fucking prison sentence. Preserving boluses. here. Be careful not to fall down there, because you will die, and then there is our bonfire right there. Oh, dear lord. Lake of Rot. Not fun. Ouch. 
once we touch the uh, grace, the rot will be gone, thank God. Now there's a couple different ways you can go um, in here. The Grand Cloister. Here, um, no item ahead, therefore, seat down. We need to go that way, however, if we go this way, get my mimic tree ready because I do believe there is a tree spirit that is tucked away over here. I hate that move so much. I think he's over there. Oops. Uh, you know what? That's fine for now. I'm gonna put my boluses over here. You're seriously going to fight the thing in the rot? Oh god, seriously? Seriously, where did you come from? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Oh god, this is not good. Okay, seriously. Oh my god! See, that's, that's what pisses me off, is when I'm on the ground, and I die on the fucking... You know what? I don't even care. The only thing you get from that piece of crap is a golden seed. Not really worried about it. Honestly, not worried about it at all. Not one freaking bit. I'm gonna go get my damn runes, but... Yeah. I told you guys, I absolutely hate this part of the game. I really do. Like, the Lake of Rot is, like, the worst... One of the worst areas in the game. I want my damn runes back, because it's, like, 75,000 runes. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Damn it. Stop that. <laughs> Fucking God damn it. It's like this area, it's like it burns when you fucking piss. Like you just like it drives you fucking crazy. This area is not even that big, but it's like one of the worst areas in the game. Absolutely hate these damn kindreds of rot. That's what they're called. You know what? I'm gonna summon the vimps here. I don't care. Really? Thank you. Damn it. Wow, man. Like I said, I absolutely hate this part. I 
actually got two out of three there. That's not bad. This one makes no tier five. And daggers. We have a treasure chest. Yes, we do. Straight ahead. Open it up. And we get the Scorpion Stinger, which is a weapon I will not use, just because it's a... I think it's a dagger. Yeah. Dagger fashioned from the Great Scorpion's Tail, glistening with Scarlet Rot. Um, yeah. You base, it causes Rot buildup, so I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not a terrible weapon, but it's just not a weapon I choose to use, I guess. I... I'm damn sure not going to mess with that damn tree spirit. And then over here, there is a coffin that we are going to get nestled up inside. Rest in the coffin. You'll get this cutscene. First time I came down here, I freaked out because I was like, dude, like, what the hell? But yeah, this basically takes us to the boss, which is Estelle. And I do believe there is, or at least there should be a side of grace somewhere. Surely there's a side of oh, Actually, there's a stake of Marika, which I, honestly is good enough in my eyes. So let's see. Let's try to get some co-op first. For Astel. And if not, then I guess our Mimic Tier is going to have to do. And it looks like our Mimic Tier is going to have to do, because we ain't got nobody. Which is fine. Our Mimic Tier... I, I have faith in our Mimic Tier. Let's do it! Astel, Natural Born of the Void. Oh, I forgot about that. Right out of the gate. That still's a pain in the ass. Is it doing AoE? Yep, I saw that coming. It didn't hurt near as bad as I thought it would. Oh, this is dumb. gravity based so may not be the weapon for us but Jesus Christ Ooh. that's his little teleportation move right there that's not too bad. Oh god, what is he doing? Oh my god. Wow, dude, holy crap. I don't remember half of these moves he's got. Oh, right in the chin. Astel got destroyed. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, this move, I really do. Moves really annoying. Oops. 
God. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up. Thank you. I think we got him though. Oh, he's got, he's got the mimic. <laughs> We get we gotta get one hit, seriously. Alright, you're dead, buddy. Thanks for playing, buddy. You're gone. You're gone. Ooh, <laughs> the KO blow. Sit down, Mr. Astel. And we get the remembrance of the natural born. Now, that actually was not bad. That actually went a lot, a lot smoother than I realized. I'll take it. And thus concludes our journey into the Lake of Rot. Now you notice there is a sealed gate right there. All right, and there's um, a few parts. Well, actually, it's been a while. When we did Ronnie's uh, Ronnie the Witch's quest line, she gave uh, we had to hunt down a um, a bell bearing guy just before the Lake of Rot, and then um, we got a key for that. I've not, I've yet to show where that key goes, and what that, that key goes is in the room with, um, Renala. So we're gonna go there now. There is a treasure chest that has been in here the whole time that's been locked. I just gotta find it. Where are you keeping it? Well, I'm right there. That's been locked the whole time. The discarded palace key. That is what uh, the bell bearing guy drops. The dark moon ring. All right. That is what will uh, take that that uh, paling down. So we're gonna go to Astell's um, side of grace. And now you see the paling is gone. The paling is completely gone. Which is awesome. So now we can proceed up. And uh, in the next part, guys, we will be getting our um, sixth and final legendary Ashen Remain. Here. Take the lift. I believe it goes down. No, it goes up. But either way. all the way up. Deep Ansel Well, we're back up here. What? No, however, no, we are in the Moonlight Altar. And to show you on the map, Deep Ansel Well, and that is where, um, you know what, let's go ahead, I don't know if we can just yet. I know we gotta fight uh, a dragon, but well, we don't have to fight a dragon. Where are we at time-wise? But, uh, you know what, let's see if we can get our final legendary Ashen... Yeah, because there's uh, a doula um, way back when up in uh, up here. Uh, we fought a doula here. Uh, once he got about half dead, he uh, retired, so to speak, disappeared. This is where he went. For the moment, we're going to run past this guy. I want the Everjail. I want to get my trophy for all legendary Ashen uh, rem remains, rather. Bye-bye, turtle. And here is the ringleader's Everjail. Let's go. Go in here.
I don't know if I can use a my mimic tier in here or not. Doesn't look like it. Electo Black Knight Ringleader. Never fought this guy. I mean, like every other Black Knight, Black Knife Assassin, he's quick. If that's all you got going for you, buddy. You might as well pack that free T-shirt and head home. Okay. Okay. You got some speed. I'll give you that. Oh my God! What the fucking? Fuck! Okay, he's a little difficult. He's just a little bit difficult. I'm not going to lie, he's a lot a bit difficult. I mean, at least it puts me the steak of Marika's right there, and then, uh... I, it'd be really nice if I could use my uh, mimic tier, but oh crap! Yeah, this guy's a little bit of a problem. I like the staggering part here. Oh. Damn it. It's not what I wanted to do. Fuck shit, man. I like how he just like takes it. Takes it all. Oh my god. Damn, dude. You are wicked. Oh, got him. Got a, got a stun lock on him. Get up, bitch. Oh, get me, get up. Get me, get up. Got him. Oh, and there we go. Legendary Ashen Remains Trophy. There we go. <laughs> I love it. Another trophy. I think I, need, I think I have like six or seven trophies left. Black Knife. Whoever this guy is. Teach. Teach is one of the assassins who, on the night of the plot, imbued her black knife with the rune of death and slew Godwin the Golden. She was the daughter of the black knife ringleader Electo and was killed protecting her mother during their flight from the royal capital. Holy crap, okay. Well, that worked out nicely. So, alright. Oh my god, I love it. Got my fucking trophy. Got my fucking trophy. I love it. All right, so the Moonlight Altar in the next part, guys. We are going to uh, wrap up Ronnie's The Witch's quest line, and we're going to do the Moonlight Altar in the next part. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up. It does help the channel grow. It truly, truly does. And we'll catch you guys right here in the next